So uh, we do have these uh, two swords, right, coming from uh, the the Elder Guardians, right? We have the Growlwood Shank and we have the Bell Timber Blade. And uh, yeah, if, if you sell those to uh, the Vendor uh, just with a fusing, then you get uh, the Assassin Boar, Bo Boar, right? And this is the Arborix, and this is the bow that we are going to use on this build. And I hope that the loot gods are with me this uh, league, that it rolls good. It sockets fast and it six links fast, right? And this is what we're going to try to do now. So, how's the roll? We have uh, 93, 1, 2, 2, 253. So actually on the topper side of rolls, that's not bad. I'll take that. So let's get the quality up. Okay. Easy. Easy six socket and easy six link. Or I'm broke and I don't know what to do afterwards. There you go, six socket, six socket. I think we're going for a, a six, a, a five link first. I think, or fuck it, dude, six link, six link. I'm calling it. I need it, baby, please. Okay, maybe we go for a five link just to start things off, right? To make it a little bit more easier. Mm, five link, dear Chris Wilson. Here, uh, loot got five link. There you go. Good. Okay. So now we basically need one red socket. There you go. Easy clap. Okay, we got our weapon. So we're we're good to start off with this build. And I have a. F Why do I have a white armor? Is this uh, the biggest troll of them all, or is this actual legit? And we're actually grabbing a hat hunter now. <laughs> this is it. This is it, Kadiro! Kadiro's offer! Oh, when refund is not in my vocabulary. Oh. oh yes! I just came in my panties, dude! Shit! Shit! Yes! <laughs> hey guys and welcome to a new video! So Day 4 of Blind League is done, or at least half done, I would say, half done, because I was streaming, uh, now I'll stop streaming, recording this video for you guys, and then I will continue streaming, because we're gonna make some more changes, and holy moly, dude, it's day 4, and it's going to be my fourth build now, right, the Poison, the Venom Gyre that didn't work out, then the Cobra Lash, that did not, no damage for me at least, the Alley Hit, now Tornado Shot, with Hat Hunter, Hat Hunter Day 4, and now we're probably gonna try out Ice Shot. So, uh, before we go anything closer here, I know this is uh, not the typical type of videos that I bring, you know, usually I bring like a build guide because I like, hey, I'm gonna play this build now, I just play it, I do my Uber Elder, my uh, whatever, like some Delph and whatever, and then I bring the build guide and then I continue to the next build, right? This is a league diary. That means that I'm just progressing through the Atlas until my Atlas is clear. I'm currently in 66 from 159, so not that fast progress, but this is also because of the Hat Hunter that I acquired that I want to talk a little bit later on, okay? So, yesterday I played Alley Hit with a full fire conversion, right? Uh, was pretty nice, but I thought that the alley hit in terms of playstyle feels a little bit clunky here, right? And that's why I said like, well, tornado shot is easier because I just need to run and just shoot like that and it cl just clears the whole screen basically, right? Yeah, if you have the gear, if you have the gear. And this is what I wanna talk about now. So what did I do to make this um, tornado shot impale possible? So forget about the hat hunter at all, right? Because before that I was just using, um, or is it like a, just a typical life resistance belt so i'm not clearing fast uh the mo uh, the maps are not really well rolled or anything so you're gonna you're not really gonna feel the hat hunter in this case actually in this scenario we're just gonna swap it out so we're just gonna use this one for now so it's a more clear play style here right so i bought the or at least i crafted or vendor recipe the arborix i could manage to five link it as you saw in the highlights uh, and this is my setup here. I'm having Tornado Shot with Impale, Mirage, uh, Mirage Archer, GMP, and Brutality Support, skipping off Chain for now. So a bit less clear, but still better damage, because when I put in the 
um, the chain instead of brutality, then it's just a lot less DPS. So I need the DPS here because the DPS kind of sucks here, right? So uh, in terms of the rest here, Carnage Heart, pretty generic or leak start of friendly amulet, like a Chaos or two. Still the Chaos from yesterday. I bought a Devotos, just the cheapest one on the market, was like 45 Chaos at this point. Then a drill neck. I don't want to run any chain built. I mean, not in the moment built in, so it's not a big deal. Uh, but if you run chain, you don't want to have pierce. So I bought the cheapest drill neck that has no pierce modifier, right? That's why it has fist as extra fire, but doesn't bring me anything on this point because we run brutality, right? I just want to get rid of the pierce when I'm running, uh, when I'm playing with chain. The rest of the gear still the same. It's just life resistance, life resistance, life resistance, life resistance, life resistance. Hawk champ, that's it, you know? So I'm not, it's not like build guides type, it's just like I want to show you guys what I did to the build and what I'm trying here, right? So in terms of the auras, I have precision with a dread banner to have 100% impale, um, then flesh and stone with main support and pride. Pride is something I'm not using at the moment because when I use this, I have 58 uh, mana left, so I have no, not the currency to buy an enlightened gem, so I cannot run it, right? And this is the, in this way, I can only shoot tornado shot once, every second every two seconds because i'm really having a mana issue here right and i think flash and stone is in this case better than and just having some more mana free so that's why i'm using only those three at the moment right okay so we're gonna make two uh runs now both the same map both prominent ma uh, maps pretty much the same role 76 percent, 75 percent one we're gonna run with my entire setup that i switched to impale with uh, also the Transcendent Flash here, right? So the typical thing here, we run double Lion Eyes Fall to get all these juicy notes over here, right? Val Pact, uh, Crit Multi, like the typical stuff here, right? Still on a three SNNC Slayer here. Uh, and then uh, Atomics, a uh, good friend of mine, also an officer in the guild, uh, lent me his Ice Shot build, right? He's playing it on a Raider with like... I don't know, like eight or nine uh, frenzy charges, like the reworked raider. And he says he's having a blast and he could vomit when he watches my stream with this impulse setup. So what I got here is I basically got all his gear with all his uh, gems here, right? It's just like all of his here, if his gear, right? And this is what we're going to run after the first map showcase. So you'll see the difference. And what I show, what I want to show you, because I played already one map and it was a blast. It was super fun. What I want to show you is... A fully optimized, basically, impale skill tree uh, compared to just an ice um, an ice shot setup here without impale, uh, like with the same skill tree. So no cold penetration, no extra cold damage, no alley damage, anything like that, okay? And you're going to see the difference in the mapping. So first one is going to be this one. We're going to play as the tornado shot. And you're going to see... Um, that it's okay-ish. I would say okay-ish. So it just, you see, you see the difference because usually when I play Tornado Shot, I usually have the currency to buy a Rigwald Squill, so my projectiles fork, then maybe a Devotus with the Enchant, so we have more damage, right? And all this kind of stuff. And you, you're gonna see that, especially in Blight Encounters, you have a lot, lot less DPS. So let's just run through. Uh, the main thing that I want to show you here is the terms of clear speed. Uh, rather than actually the boss DPS, um, but probably we're still gonna do it. So anyway, so as you see, it's just like typical tornado shot. But as you see, the damage is is not even there for some reason, right? I mean, I, I know all these 300 IQ people that will write now comments. Yeah, but you don't have a six link, so what what do you want, you know? But yeah, it's still five link. This is a tier nine map. It's a mid tier map. So let's try to finish this encounter the same way I, I usually do, like Frost plus Upgrade, Frost plus Upgrade. Let's just keep on going here. And you're gonna see that the damage here is not really good at all. Uh, somebody told me that there is actually a problem with the projectiles on these Blight maps. So even though you're hitting the target, sometimes you're not doing damage just because that the projectiles are stuck in the blight, like, how you call it, I don't know what's the right word for it, like the, um, god damn it. Yeah, there's lines here, you know, like the tree, fungal, whatever. So you see the pump got destroyed, there's absolutely no chance of killing these mobs here, right? Oh shit, almost died. So even though it's a tier 9 map and I do have actually really, really nice gear already, I 
Like, in, in three out of four maps, I'm failing on the Blight Encounter because I just have not enough damage. And I cannot even kill the mobs as fast that I can say, like, okay, MBX, you know, you're a noob. You need to upgrade those turrets, you know? But for upgrading turrets, you need to kill stuff. And I'm really having a struggle when there is, like, uh, two or three lines going in separate directions that I can kill those stuff, right? I personally would say we're gonna skip um, the, the showcase on this point. Or do we rush to the boss real quick? Because the mapping clear speed is something I want to show plus the blight encounter, right? Wait, the boss should actually be somewhere at the front. We're just gonna skip the um, stuff here. So here's the boss, right? So let me clear off this one here. SSC boss damage. Eh. Not too good at the moment. But yeah, we are missing a lot of Impale stacks, the Watcher's Eye, so boss is dead. So this was the first uh, showcase on this Tornado Shot Impale, right? So, we need the Watcher's Eye Impale plus 2 to have two more additional stacks, which is a lot more damage. Then a Rig Vault so the projectiles can fork, then maybe a, t a d Devotus with a plus 2 and so on. So League Starter-wise, I probably would not recommend playing Tornado Shot, because I feel it now as well that it's just not that great, to be honest. So... For um, the other showcase here, uh, where was actually loot? Where was it? Quality. Here it is. So we are now switching his uh, setup here, and he is having less weight gear than I do, right? So it's really not a big gear difference here, besides the six link that he got here with the Hyrus, right? And they, the Hyrus will give you a lot of uh, cold damage on top of that, right? So we're just switching off here everything. I just hope that we have enough stats to wear stuff. Uh, Frost Bomb we're gonna disable here because I'm not having the intelligence here, right? So, this is the completely uh, same thing here. Now the same thing uh, with a non-optimized skill tree, right? So we are having here Hatred plus Precision plus the Herald of Ice. And I wanna actually add the Herald of Ice. Uh, where is it? Herald of Ice. Sir? There it is. Same here? Okay, good. Because I want to have these juicy explosions here, right? So, uh, anything else we need? Uh, we have the the golem here. Then blink arrow and also, like, let's wait for some mana to get this one back. So, the rest is something we actually don't really need. So, as I said, this is a completely unoptimized skill here, right? So, we are having here three projectiles plus two from the death opus at the moment. So, uh, let's run the same map just with the uh, different setup here. This is the promenade map. And you're gonna see the difference. So this is still like the same, yeah, impale focused uh, thing. And it's not impale. So if you say like, hey, wait, that's not bad damage. This is not impale because impale um, gets more damage from physical, or at least like only from physical sc it scales, right? And this is only uh, frost damage basically, right? So in the mapping here, uh, you're gonna see that this is a lot uh, like, choosy more um, or faster clearing here because usually we just shoot in here once then just the packs are exploding because we are actually running uh, chain support same as the tornado shot right but it just scales way better off with this ice shot here if you're finding enough mobs what is this what is this emptiness here and by the way this uh, the sound here is just so satisfying to watch here or at least to listen to so, here is the Blight Encounter. Oh. So, I would run the setup with a GMP and without Death Opus for now. So, same story here. Um, we're gonna see... We have here... Probably get the freezing towards here, I guess. Upgrade. Something like that here. And you're gonna see once the mobs spawn, they're actually just exploding into the portal once we're hitting it. Which is like 10 times more damage than the tornado shot. As you saw before, there is rarely mobs dying here. I just shoot one uh, ice shot, basically. And everything towards the portal is just disappearing, right? And this without any kind of frost penetra um, ice penetration. Uh, any kind of uh, scaling on the tree or anything like that. So, it's, it's way, way better in terms of clearing. I don't know if the projectiles from Tornado Shot, like the secondary projectors, are somewhat buggy, for example. Um, or there is another problem here. I don't know. Like, 
usually, as far as I know, as you see, like, one shot, once the Herald of Ice going off, there is just everything disappearing. I don't even have upgraded my towers once yet, not even once. And there is absolutely no problem clearing this rift here, at least the, uh... My spirit is spent. How's it called? The Blight Mechanic, better said. Oh, come on, so... The new staff, sadly not that expensive at the moment, so here crude bow doesn't matter. So I would still say we're gonna go for the boss, although this now is a map clearing setup, right? So for bossing you want to have a separate uh, barrage setup, which is not a big deal since we're running two six links anyways uh, on this point. So you're gonna have the ice shot for just your general mapping experience, better said. Um, and the other one uh, for a single target barrage setup, so you're gonna have a couple of million Shaper DPS, so everything that has to do with like uh, Uber Elder or something like that should not be a, a big deal here since barrage is, is doing some very, very nice uh, boss DPS anyways. But as you see, the clearing speed with this one is way, way better, just even with the completely unoptimized um, skill tree, right? And yeah, this is what I wanted, wanted to show you guys, and I think that um, that it's better to go with any kind of uh, Herald of Ice, any Shattering, so you have the maximum AoE here. And I think, well, damage, as I said, this is like a mapping setup for now, right? So I just wanted to go over the mapping speed and also uh, clearing the Blights here. Come on. So. But I just think, especially later on in the Blighted map, since I think the end game potential in this league is going to be as, uh, the blighted maps in like tier 16. So you want to have an insane area of effect. You want to clear as much as possible, as fast as possible. And I think that any kind of um, shattering Herald of Ice, like an, a bombing explosion, like chain reactions and so on, will definitely benefit you, uh, benefit you a lot. So this is the first time actually touching the, um, the ice shot. I never played this one either. Uh, but it feels a little bit better in the terms of playstyle than the elemental hit that uh, did. But yeah, I, I just like... As I said, it, it's a little bit weird here um, in terms of my leak start because I'm... I'm like literally it's day four and this is the fifth build that I'm trying to play, right? So I'm not sure why it is like that because usually I just use the first leak starter and just go through the whole content, killing Uber Elder and then I go for a magic finder for example. This league, I had a bad start with my uh, poison or a venom, gyre, gyre, whatever it's called. Uh, then I was re-rolling and now I'm re-rolling again. And I don't know, like it, it just doesn't really happen or it fe at least feels so good to me in this league uh, for now at least. But I'm having way much more fun with those bow skills than with the poison assassin. So at least they got that going for me. So let's talk about the hat hunter. So how does this happen, you know? So there was a guy that whispered me and asked me like, hey, MBX, uh, I have Kudira here with a Hat Hunter offer for 28,000 coins and I cannot afford it. Do you want to buy it? You know, and I'm like, wait, what? How the hell should I get uh, 28,000 coins here, right? And if you go to PoE trade and uh, currently undergoing maintenance, wait, what? Can I still search for coins? Or no, not Orb of Binding here, Perron's coins, probably. Yeah, I can. So, as you see, um, the market. Here we have 400, 200, 300. So, I would say if we scroll down here... Oh, this guy. Nice China farmer, dude. 23,000 coins. So, despite this guy that is AFK, but the rest is having like 100, maybe 200 coins. So, probably I would say at the point when I bought the coins, um, they were about 10,000 on the market. So, even if I wanted to buy everything, you know, uh, impossible. There is not enough coins in the market despite this guy that wasn't online before. But anyways, uh, one chaos for 20. We, we completely bought off the market. So how did we do that? Obviously, with the help of the community. So big, big thanks uh, to the community for helping me out here. And since I'm an ethical player, as you know me, uh, I wrote down every single guy here that helped me getting those coins, right? So I had a thousand coins myself, right? Living a little bit. I had a thousand coins myself, and a lot of people that are just randomly mapping did also have like 500, 600 coins. And they all said, like, hey, MBX, we can do this. We can, uh, we got this, you know? So I wrote down every single person here that gave me coins, right? And in the end, we had the 28,000 and we could buy the Headhunter. So this is the next thing that is um, giving me, I wouldn't say a hard time, because in the end, buying all those coins will probably end up maybe 10 exalts. Maybe like that. 
and a headhunter goes for what like 60 exalts 50 exalts in this stage of the league so it will probably be more expensive later on uh, and i got my headhunter basically for 10 exalts so uh, the usual thing what i would do now is uh, just trying to farm up get my six link here um get um the rigwald quills for example but now i just have to farm currency to buy kadiro coins to pay back all those people because i'm not taking a single penny copper alchemy orb chaos orb whatever you're gonna call it uh, i'm not taking anything for free i want to earn my stuff yes i know uh, the community helped me out greatly here with uh, buying this um kadiro hat hunter but I wrote down every single name so everybody will get the exact, uh, the, the exact amount that he gave me back in Kadiro coins. So in the end, I'll just like as I bought them myself. So this is the first priority nor uh, now. So usually, as I said, normally I'm buying maps uh, to complete my atlas to have a better breeze here and then just finishing high tier maps and get to Shaper as fast as possible. I cannot do this now, okay? So rather than spending now my currency for maps to complete my atlas, I will spend those currencies to um, pay back all of those people before I do anything else with my builds, right? Um, as I said, I'm going to sell now a couple of stuff here, transforming the uh, tornado shot now into an ice shot to try this one out. I'm gonna stay Slayer for sure because I'm not leveling up another character. Um, I'm gonna fix the character that I can farm, but then in the end, I will save up the currency. I have like one exalt, I think, one exalt 50 chaos at the moment to pay back those people with the coins because I don't want to make a I don't want to let them wait forever, right? Just like a normal thing for me. This is this is now the highest priority to pay back those people. But yeah, guys, it's insanely cool that the that the community said like hey mbx we're just gonna gather if we're gonna get like a 30 40 people and everybody gives like five six hundred coins we're gonna get you the hat hunter and you're just gonna pay it back and it worked out within like maybe 20 minutes we had the 28,000 coins together for the buyout so guys thanks so much for that uh and it's going to be quite nice because now i know i don't have to play a magic finder this league uh, or at least like not planned because usually i wanted to clear the atlas and then just buying magic finding gear and farm my burial chambers to get the headhunter. This is my usual thing that I do every single league. So this step falls off and I think after I've done Uber Elder, I'm staying with a character, farming the tier 16 maps, trying to get those blighted maps going, which is kind of interesting because they are quite hard on this point. Uh, and I want to try to make as many Uber Elder services or whatever I can do. And because I don't have to rely on farming up a headhunter to have an easy time uh, with mapping to get up currency faster. And this is the current state of the art. I did finish uh, my tier 1 maps uh, until tier 4, so all the white maps are clear. Currently progressing through tier 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, so I hope that uh, in the night we are probably going to be somewhere at tier 8 or something, tier 9 maybe. Uh, and I'm also progressing in Delph here to just get those cities and get the map pools that I need, or at least the map sustain. Also, don't forget to use your Sana missions here and the Sulfite nodes. They are the most profitable, especially when you want to get your early maps going. But yeah, so we're gonna uh, set back this a little bit. I'm just going to try out Eyeshot because this thing is actually super fun. It looks insanely cool and we maybe gonna see if we uh, how we're gonna approach this one. Uh, and maybe we're gonna go into some deck stacking cold frenzy based build something like that I'm, I'm going to, to look forward to this one just playing around with things that I've never tried because this is in the end what makes the most fun for me not like really playing builds that I already played it's more like trying out new things some are good some are bad you know like the poison I wanted to try it it was not my thing so I'm switching I'm switching I'm switching until I find a build where I say like Guys, this is the build that I can really recommend because of several reasons. So guys, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, and see you on the next video. So, stream is done, and I did some more progress. Uh, I could get up into some high tier maps, so uh, we're halfway through uh, the mapping process here, at least through uh, the grinding process. And I want to show you another map. Because I upgraded my character now. So I have a double five link now. This is my stuff now, right? Uh, so I borrowed the other gear from Atomics. This is now my stuff. Uh, I fixed my skill tree, right? I, I made it uh, for ice shot, technically, right? Uh, so I have this uh, gardens map here. It's a high tier map. So before we ran a, a normal Alch uh, tier 9 map, this is now... 130% quantity gardens map tier 11 it's going to be one of my progress maps 
So we're gonna see how this one works out now. So compared to the tornado shot, where I actually sometimes have struggles with clearing a tier four map uh, in terms of blight. So let's take a look at this one. And as you can see, um, this is what I was talking about in terms of clear speed, right? It's like 10 times better uh, than the early stages of that Impale character. I mean, I'm pretty sure Impale will come out on top uh, once you invest a certain amount of currency. Talking about the uh, Impale Watcher's Eye, uh, some Rigwalds and so on, you know, then where the clears really start to pop off, right? So, too sad there is like shitty layout, shitty mob density. What the fuck, dude? 130%. And now I also have like a barrage set up for the single target, right? So let's take a look at Cassia with her blight things. As you saw, I struggled before, so let's take a look. It's like, oh, double, double with three boxes. So we're just gonna build up our defense circle right here. Upgrade this one and here, probably a fire turret. That should do it actually. And you will see that the damage is way better now. And you're basically just demolish those mobs. But I have to say, holy, holy moly, dude. Um, when I was doing a tier 13 map before, or it was a tier 14, um, there was a unique spawning in those blighted maps, right? And holy shit, that dude has some life. I think there's like comparable to a guardian, if not more. That was just like hilarious. I was just non-stop barraging him. And he did not lose any health. I mean, either he was like crit immune or something, or I don't know. Like, I did do him, but it took like literally 10 seconds non-stop shooting with barrage uh, on him. So, he was way more tanky than any kind of map boss. Now, let's upgrade here some, upgrade there some. But as you see, absolutely no problem anymore. Any more loots? Soul fight scare up. Thank you. So... Still leveling some gems. I bought a complete new setup with gems, so I'm currently leveling those up. But they're like somewhere level 17, I guess, or level 16, somewhere at that. Because the majority of the gems that I bought was level 1. But as you see, super smooth mapping, exactly what I want. It's a little bit squishy yet. Um, like it's not like that I'm dying off and I have my overleech, right? So either I get one-shotted or I'll just leech through it. Um, but still, like, 3.5k life uh, on high tier maps is not a lot. I know that, I know that. But the majority of my rare items are about uh, 3 to 5 chaos. I, I did not buy any kind of item that is was more than 5 chaos uh, when I was trying to fix my resistance. There is still some min-maxing uh, to be needed, because uh, I don't think that I'm rest kept. Yeah, I have 20, 20 rest on cold, so... Let's just hope there is no cult mob. But as you see, it's it's like a pretty choosy, um, yeah, map tier style gameplay. Same as the tornado shot, fully geared, basically. On that, almost, almost. So let's check out the boss DPS real quick. Oh no, I don't want to do this. I want to do that. Yeah, okay. As I said, way better than before. Still could use some more. Hello, are you dying? Holy shit, what was that? That wasn't even. Oh, that's a double boss. Okay, understand. I understand. Sir? What the fuck are these bosses? So, as I said, either I get one shot or I'll just do it. So, there you go. Another map unlocked. The next high tier map dropped. So, as I said. It's very, very smoothly, and I, probably this is from the five builds that I played, starting from the Venom Guard that blacked me out or disconnected me, the uh, Cobra Lash that didn't do damage, the alley hit was fine, that was actually super nice, but a little bit clunky, the Tornado Shot with more investment, but this one is actually, this the sound of the, the pops is like so satisfying, and yeah, having a good time with this build, and this is something I can definitely recommend, so thanks for